Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It is Wednesday. My parents have been here for a week. They are unfortunately leaving this morning. I'm getting breakfast going before anybody leaves, though. Um, I'm filming today, and boy, do I have a lot to film because I did nothing while my parents were here. Nothing. I mean, like, I hung out with them, but my house is a wreck. I didn't do laundry once. Nothing. So I'm going to make German pancakes. So a cup of milk, a cup of flour. I used gluten-free free flour. A dash of salt. A dash of vanilla. Six eggs. I'm using duck eggs. Preheat the oven to 425 and put five tablespoons of butter in there and let it melt as you get all this together. I think I'm only going to do five duck eggs, though. No, I'll do six. I've got some more in the fridge. I was going to say, I'm running low, but I forgot I have more in the fridge. I'm also making two loaves of Amish white bread. Now we're going to pour this over top of the melted butter. We're going to bake at 425 for 22 to 25 minutes. Hello everyone, welcome back. It has been a while since I filmed anything. My parents were here and I took the week off. It's like my vacation when they come up. So I have so much to tell you about, so much to talk about, so many things, uh, but we'll see if we get to everything today because it's a lot. Um, so my parents just left to head back to North Carolina. So we are gonna get back into the swing of things today. So I have done laundry for the first time today since my parents were here. So you can imagine how backed up on laundry we are. I made the German pancakes for breakfast. I fed both my sourdoughs. I have sandwich bread cooking right now because Ashlyn wants sandwich bread because we have none. So lots of things. I got the roast in the crock pot with that uh, marinade that I got at Sam's Club that we found on clearance for 91 cents. Hopefully it's good, but who knows? If it's on clearance for 91 cents, maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm hoping it's going to be good. Um, we have lots of dishes to tend to. Just lots of things to get done today. But first, we're going to start moving rooms around. So we have extra bedrooms and we're going to start filling them up. So um, it's just going to be lots of cleaning bedrooms today. Lots of moving kiddos around different places today. 
Um, today's Wednesday. We start our new school year on Monday. So we're trying to get everything done and out of the way before then. So lots of cleaning this week, lots of cleaning that I missed all week when I was just hanging with my parents doing things instead of up cleaning while they were here. Um, that's my parents. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but they forgot my mom's little back pillow and they just pulled back in to get it and they're leaving again. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Lots of things to accomplish today and it's gonna feel good to get back into the swing of things after being off for a week. So here we go. I know I heard, that's so funny. Lots and lots and lots of things. So I will take you guys along for the ride today. Last night I wrote this because I just need to get myself back on track. So let's see, I fed the sourdough. The bread is in, coffee for Gary's done. The roast is in the slow cooker. I did the cat litter. Um, I have, okay, so I still need to tell you about that. Laundry's going, I need to put it away. I have another load that's been in the dry, that was in the dryer forever that also needs to be put away. So this past weekend, Gary's aunt gave me, they got a, their half of a cow. We get our cows from the same person. It was their turn to get their half cow. They needed some freezer space. She had a ton of broth in their freezer. She asked me if I could bring it home and freeze dry it. I put a ton in my freeze dryer, which is running now. So I need to keep checking it. That's why I have it on, <laughs> on my board. Um, her broth is in there. What I'm gonna do is pull it out, powder it, and put it in jars so it saves her space. And then the rest of it is canned. This is the rest of her broth. So I am just waiting on that. Um, I did it yesterday afternoon, so it's gotta sit till this afternoon, then I'll wash it and I can get those to her along with uh, her broth, her freeze dried broth. Um, she really just needed the freezer space. I told her I would help her out. So I did that, all that for her. Um, so that's another thing that I've been doing. I actually did these yes, well, I just said that I did these yesterday. The freeze dryer has been running for a while because in summer it takes a long time for it to run because when it's warm downstairs, um, like the surrounding air, it makes the free, the freeze dryer itself puts off air. And when the air downstairs is already warm, it takes a longer time for the batch to complete. So it's been running at this point for two days, I think. Hopefully it gets done today, but I would probably think not. It still looks like it's pretty far from being done. I should have just canned all of it for her, but whatever. And some more exciting news. Our AC is gonna get fixed on Friday. We are gonna be <laughs> so broke, but our AC is gonna be fixed. And then more exciting news. I convinced my parents while they were here to go to Florida with us. Well, it didn't really take convincing on my mom's part at all. She wanted to go. And so when they got here the first day, I was like, we're going on vacation. They knew we were going, but I was like, we're going on vacation. Do you guys wanna go? I hadn't asked them. I didn't wanna ask them through text or whatever. I wanted to wait till they were here. So mom said it was always a dream of hers to go very close to one of the places that we're going. It's on her bucket list. So I talked to Gary and I told him and he was like, well, let's bring her. So uh, we were gonna take my mom because we're gonna pass by their house. Well, not exactly by their house, but we're gonna pass through North Carolina very close within an hour. The road that we're gonna go on and where they live is about an hour. So we were gonna swing by and grab her and take her with us and bring her home if my dad didn't wanna go. So. When they got here, we asked, and my dad was like, absolutely not, I'm not going. I am not, the only reason he didn't wanna go is because he didn't wanna board their dog for two weeks, over two weeks. Um, he was like, I wanna go, but I don't wanna do that to the dog. I don't wanna pay for the dog. I don't wanna do all this. So anyway, by the end of the week of them staying here, we think they're gonna bring the dog up here and leave the dog here with our house and the people that are staying here. And then we're all gonna go. It is so wonderful. I am so excited. We haven't been on vacation since Everly was one. She's about to turn eight. So that's seven years. Um, so very, very, very excited and very excited to take my parents and spend the time with them. So it's gonna be really awesome for me to spend time with my parents, for the grandkids to spend time with their grandparents. It's just gonna be amazing. And for my mom to check off an item on her bucket list. That's gonna be the really, really great part. She 1000% deserves it after all that she's been through. So it's gonna be wonderful. Okay, our bread is done. And look at that. Look at that air bubble on that. It makes it look so funny. All right, we're getting one bedroom cleaned up. Look at that cow. 
Anything she can get into. Box, bag, dresser, she will. This is what comes along with moving. Bedrooms around, all kinds of stuff everywhere. I didn't work out today. I had planned on it, but Gary and I both could not wake up this morning. He stayed in bed an extra almost two hours. I stayed in bed an extra two hours. Um, so I did not work out, but I am glad because I just got to work out moving furniture up and down stairs a hundred times. Um, we just moved three different kids rooms. We moved so much stuff. So now that that's done and we've all worked up an appetite, I'm going to heat up leftover taco meat from last night. We had tacos. Um, and then we're going to eat lunch and then we'll continue, I think doing what we're doing, but this was totally not even on my list of things to do today. I still have all of that, but who knows if that'll even get done now because this is more important because now the kids are super excited about it. So of course that takes precedence. So I still got to do like fold the clothes and stuff like that. And, um, we have just been for about, I don't know, an hour and a half moving bedrooms and the joy on the kids faces just moving a bedroom you know I don't know when I was a kid I loved switching my bedrooms around in the house I loved even when I was in one bedroom rearranging my room all of that it, it just brings a kid so much joy so the house is like super joyful right now over the littlest thing so it's just amazing so everybody else has their tacos besides me and Wilder. This is mine, that's Wilder's. We finished off all the taco meat and all the taco everything. So that worked out really perfect. I fed so many people so much food all week. You wouldn't believe the amount of people and the amount of food that went down in this house this past week. Um, all that $400 that I spent at Aldi and Walmart, it's like almost everything is gone, but it was the best week ever. It was amazing. There was so much food, so much family, so much laughter. It was whole basement I use the crosswaves so mop slash vacuum that was not my plan my plan was to do all of up here today but I'm not gonna get that far because that thing got dirty and really needed to be cleaned out so maybe I'll get to that tomorrow up here uh, rooms are done clothes are put away dishwashers running I don't know what else I could do I could do some of that stuff but now I'm kind of worn out and I don't want to do some of that stuff. So I think I might sit down and relax with the kids for a little bit before I do anything else. My plans like what I wanted to do versus what got done today are totally opposites, but that's okay. Cause I'll just leave my list from today up there for tomorrow and we'll take care of it tomorrow. This past week, we went to Haley's school. So for those of you that do not know, Haley graduated school last year. So 2023, she graduated. She went into a college where she could get her accelerated bachelor's. She could take as many classes as she wanted. And she takes her last test today to get her bachelor's. Uh, by the time you see this, she will be completed. And at the end, so last year, she was a teacher's aide for second grade all year long. This year, well, at the end of last year, they offered her a full-time teaching position for the teacher, not a teacher's aide, to be a teacher for the third grade class. It is at a private Christian school, so she gets to move with her kids from second grade to third grade. She gets to have her same class all over again, 
and she gets to be the teacher. It is beyond wonderful, and it's nothing that we could have ever dreamed of for her that would have gone the way it has. I mean, God lined all of this up perfectly for her. She, at 19, has, at the end of last year, signed her contract to be a full-time teacher for this year. So she will have finished her degree, started her degree uh, teaching at 19 years old. It is beyond what our wildest dreams. I mean, so Monday, my parents and me and all the kids went up and helped her set up her classroom. I was like in tears. I couldn't even, I, I still can't even describe. It still feels like a dream that my child is living out her dream. I can't even fathom that this is actually real life and it's really happening. I am so beyond proud of her. It is amazing. So she gets her own classroom. It's just, oh, we got to go help her set it up. Like I said, I am just, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. I am so beyond proud of her. Now it's time for some snacks. Those are little, so my father-in-law has a garden and they have a bunch of cucumbers and zucchini. So we got three more huge zucchini and some cucumbers. Um, but I'm getting ready to make up some snack for the kiddos. Wait, we're having Oreos? So yeah, Ash asked for Oreos and cucumbers. So I'm gonna make up some snack. Here's snack. They have grapes, pears, one kiwi split, split between all of them because that's all we had left. <laughs> Cucumbers and Oreos. Okay, so I've been on FaceTime for a while, but I am making two of these. I got them at Aldi. I was getting ready to say Sam's Club, but they are definitely from Aldi. Um, we used the ranch and bacon ones this past week, and we're going to use these tonight. I don't know. I definitely don't need two of these for dinner for tonight. There's not many people here that are going to eat these. Layla and Wilder can't have them. Gary isn't big on Italian pasta salad, so I'm not sure if he actually will eat this or not. He might, but I'm not sure. But I was my plan is to make these, Ashlyn and I will eat them, and then Ashlyn and I can eat on them through the week for lunches as well. So that's why I just went ahead and made both, even though, you know, like I said, I know they're not both gonna get eaten tonight for dinner. Um, but I want to eat them for lunches. So I'm gonna make these up. And I still have no idea what else we're gonna have with dinner. I just texted Gary and asked him if there's something that he wants because I am just like over meal planning, you guys. I have my July meal plan up. I haven't been using it since my parents came and now everything that's on there, like I don't even want now. Go figure. So I am just like kind of winging it now. Last night I went downstairs and pulled out a roast. I had no idea what I was gonna do with it. And then this morning I went down there and grabbed that marinade and I was like, I'll just throw it in. No idea still what I'm gonna make. It's three o'clock. I'll figure it out by dinner time. I don't know what I'm gonna make tomorrow either. I need to pull something out and figure that out as well. But we went through so much food this past week and there was never any leftovers at all. So I don't have any leftovers to use or anything. And I just, besides the tacos from last night, I did three pounds of taco meat and there was just enough for us to have lunch today and it just worked out perfectly. So while the noodles cool off, I went ahead and got this together. So I just did the packet mix and then I chopped up some um, of the cucumbers and grape tomatoes and the rest of the red onion I had out from last night because we ate some on our tacos, but we didn't use the whole onion. So I just put the rest of it in here. So I asked Gary what he wants and he wants rice with dinner. So I just got out some rice, but I emptied our little container. So I keep our rice and our flour and thing and sugar in five gallon buckets downstairs because I buy it in bulk. So 
I need to go refill the rice and the flour from downstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these down and get that done so that's out of the way. So with dinner, I'm also heating up these beans. These are just pinto beans that I canned. I don't even know what seasonings they have in them and they have a little bit of ham in them too. So this roast smells really, really, really good. I hope it's as good as it smells. Here's dinner tonight, pasta salad, some veggies, rice, the meat, the roast, and the beans. And then the kids also have applesauce too. Dinner was so good. Those beans came out so, so, so good. And everyone was like, you should make these more often. So I need to can up some more of those. But the only thing is, is I don't remember how I did them. Like whatever seasonings I put in them was phenomenal. It was really, really good, but I don't even know what in the world I put in them. Anyway, Gary's not on the grass. I'm about to take kiddos inside and get them washed up and ready for bed, but they're outside playing right now. Um, because it's finally cooled off and nice, but it's getting ready to rain. So we're going to play outside for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to take kids in, get them cleaned up, and get everybody ready for bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. Glad to be back, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.